Hello, my name is Dave and this is Stone Dape Adventures. Uh, today we are heading to the Hickory Creek Wilderness. Um, this is pretty much my first trip of the season. My season starts at the very end of summer here. We're in the August. So uh, I'm just going to take you along. And uh, here at Stone Dape Adventures, we're pretty much everything backpacking culture, backpacking lifestyle, and all types of other adventures. So uh, come along and uh, let's have a great time. Well, I'm just a tiny bit into the trail. Uh, there's a lot of cars in the parking lot. Hopefully, <laughs> there are some camping sites uh, here. Um, it looked like there's maybe two van lifers in the parking lot. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so this is my first... This is the beginning of my season, pretty much. I uh, worked all day up here in the Allegheny National Forest. And uh, so um, I'm just stepping into the forest. It's... Uh, 5 30 so uh this is like a 12 mile loop so i'm gonna do i don't know <laughs> how many i'm gonna do today uh pretty much gonna try to find a camping spot um i'm guessing that uh i don't know there's like nine vehicles in the in the parking lot so i'm i'm hoping i'm uh might be uh just uh, stealth camping off the trail someplace if uh, all the campsites are taken up. I'm, I'm guessing that some of those cars are day hikers. Um, hoping anyways, because there, <laughs> there's that many people here. That, that's a lot for, for this place. I've never seen the parking lot sit full here. It's been about a year and a half since I've been here. But uh, I'm going to keep on trucking. I'm going to find a nice... Uh, little spot like i said i've been working all day i love to smoke one i'll probably just pack up a bowl and walk with it and i think there's a nice little rock up here to chill for the moment but give you kind of an idea of the trail it's a it's pretty easy it's not even a difficult trail by any means um, it is a wilderness area, and there's only a, I think this is one of the two national wilderness areas in PA, but that's about, that's about that, but I will, I'll get back to you here in a bit. So I uh, made it to the juncture to the loop. Um, here's a Hickory Creek Wilderness Loop right here. I ran into some people and they said that all the water's dried up. But um, they said they went this way on the left hand side. So um, I don't think Big Hickory uh, it's going to dry up so I know it's they said six miles but I don't think I think it's more like like three um, to the to the water and that's that's where I planned on camping tonight unless um, all the spots are taken so I think they said they were camped up along this left hand side I did pass just past one campsite um, so I don't know if that was them or not uh, we're only like a, not even a mile in and um so <clears throat> i'm guessing that uh they're camped at the first like spot going down this way and uh i know there's like three more campsites down further probably about three miles from here so that's uh that's where i'm gonna truck to i might <laughs> Um, <laughs> sticks all stuck to me. I might, um, might be getting in at like dark when I find my camping spot. 
Um, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully not. But that's okay. That's the way it is. Um, I don't mind night hiking. It's just setting up camping in the dark that sucks. But uh, I'll see you when we um, down the trail a little ways. I grew up uh, calling these these guys here uh, peace pipes. Type of mushroom, but it looks like it has a flower. They're they're pretty neat. They got a whole lot of uh, good properties about them. And uh, yeah, they <laughs> you don't want to you make a tincture, and you definitely don't want to uh, eat it before you go to bed or drink drink the tincture before you go to bed. Cause it will keep you up and it'll give you crazy dreams but um but yeah so all the little tiny cricks are dried up like this guy said um there i passed two pretty nice camping spots back here um <clears throat> i'm gonna get, keep on heading to the uh to the bigger stream um i did pass one puddle so if uh these campsites down here are taken and I'll just walk back up here, and uh, it'll definitely be in the night if that happens, but that's okay. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on trucking, and once I get to the campsite, we'll, uh, we'll hook up. What's up, little buddy? How are you today? Just chilling? Got that leaf stuck to your foot? So I made it to camp. Um, I'll have to show you around the morning. You can see my uh, tarps pitched up right there. It's a new piece of gear. I'll, I'll have to show you more in the morning. I got into the forest a little too late. Um, I did probably about about six miles, five miles. Um, I came in at 5.30. It's 8.30 now. Um, you can see I tried walking down the trail. You know, there's some spots that are a lot lighter. It's kind of thick under the canopy here, but uh, this is a nice little campsite. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little buggy, but uh, but that's fine. But I'll, I'll uh, finish setting up camp. I'm gonna burn one, um, get a little tiny fire going just to keep the bugs at bay. I'll see you guys. I manage to do this every time. I'm sure most people are like this. I just got a little tiny fire going just to. And I got a little bit of. Uh, first time I got to use my titanium flask. Well, you don't realize how much you uh, miss um, being in the being in the woods. 
like I said, um, my last video was two over, you know, a little over two months ago, and uh, I work in June and July are my busiest months out of the year, and I even work today, like I said, and um, was able to make make time, even though I got in here and I'm only gonna have about 14 hours in the woods. Oh man, does it does it feel good? Um, just to get the backpack on again, uh, you know, just to, you know, get out, have a nice little fire. Smoke some ganja. I'm super quiet today. It's not a whole lot to this trail. Um, I kind of came here because I knew, I, I figured it was going to be pretty, pretty quiet. Um, there are... There are at least six people in here. Um, I don't know how many are further down the trail. But, uh, puffing on some, some Z Skittles. Uh, there's, there's, there's a, Ton of blowdowns. Um, this uh, this trail needs this trail needs some maintenance. Bad. It's it's usually um, kind of muddy here too. Uh, just not a whole lot of. Um, it's been so dry. It's been real real dry. All the all the little cricks are dried up. <laughs> the folks that I ran into on my way down. They call they called them rivers. So um I'm, I'm guessing they're not from uh from Pennsylvania. We don't we don't call these little things rivers like they do in a lot of other places. We call them creeks. Um you know some will call it creek. But you know, it's western Pennsylvanians. But man, is it nice. Like I said, you, you really, I mean, <clears throat> despite it being still like 80 degrees out, um, it's, uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm sweating, but, um, I, I'm just glad to be out. I can't, I can't wait for fall to get here. It's right around the corner. I got a bunch of trails coming up. The big one for me is going to be the Foothills Trail. I'm going to do that. Late September, early October, trying to finalize any dates. Um, but uh, but yeah, the, 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 just being in the woods, there's nothing, nothing, nothing beats it. Nothing. Like you really can't. You know, this is this is good therapy. <coughs> Um, I'm just getting out on these overnighters I do um, bring alcohol with me um, if I'm going for if I'm doing a two-nighter I I don't bring no alcohol some sometimes but generally generally I don't uh, there's you know You don't want to um, overdo it with the alcohol, especially hiking in hot weather. And so I, I tend to keep that at a, uh, like I said, I made the mistake once on a Thanksgiving. I hiked about 15 miles and had a 10 mile hike up a hill, and I, um, <laughs> man. I, I got I got pretty hammered and whew, that was that was bad news. It was about twenty degrees out and it just wasn't a smart thing to do. So I kinda learned my lesson on that one. But these shorter trips, um 
I guess I'd use overnighters. I do like to uh, pack in a little whiskey or a couple beers or even maybe even a six pack for for uh, like I said for the overnighters. But you know, you don't want to you don't want to drink it to a lot of alcohol and then go and uh, hike 15 miles the next day. It's, it doesn't feel, it doesn't, it's not good, it's not safe. And, uh, but yeah, I'm really, I really dig this flask. It's kind of got that real traditional vibe to it. I don't know how well you can see it, but. Um, the Knob Creek is uh, 100 proof, so it's fairly ultra light. Uh, I like the Smith and Cross uh, rum. It's at uh, I think 157. That's that's super ultra light and um, it's super tasty. But um, I couldn't couldn't find any. So um, Mob Creek's my go-to uh, bourbon. I like the 120 rye the best. Got beggars can't be choosy. So Z Skittles is what I'm smoking on. I have some Oreos. Um, and there's I have another kind. I can't remember what it is. I spaced on it a little bit. But um, I'm gonna burn up the rest of the wood I gathered. Um, call it an early night. Uh, probably fall asleep like 11 o'clock or something like that. Maybe midnight. It depends. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys came with me. Like I said, it's it's my first trip of the season for me, sort of, and uh, I, I appreciate everyone that watches. Everyone that gives me a like or a follow, it's um, it's turned into uh, it added a new element to to the backpacking for me. I always took pictures, but um, it's just uh, it, it's a way for me to get out my creativeness, and it's it's hard. I'm still still learning kind of it's it's hard to video yourself it's super hard um and i'm kind of a hermit and it kind of it's helping me with that you know just to get out a little bit um and uh yeah but yeah thanks everyone that, uh that watches and uh i'll um catch you guys in the morning i have uh I want to show you I want to show you my new shelter it's a uh, it's a tarp and I'm, I'm pretty geeked about it uh, it's super ultra lightweight it's like like on this trip um, my sleeping pad sleeping mat and shelter those are all under three pounds and uh, you know like that's it's pretty awesome you know, it's, it definitely it definitely helps you do a little bit more miles. I I feel, um, but not 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 a. It, there's a difference, but it's not. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's as big as people make it out to be. Now, I mean, it's a big difference between like a fifty pound pack and a seven pound pack. But um, when you talk between like a twelve pound pack and a twenty five pound pack, I mean that it sounds like it's a lot, but it's really um for me it kind of carries the same it's not you know like it's it's more along the lines of um for me you know like i'm gonna do just as well with you know um say a 20 pound pack as i am a 10. i don't think it's gonna affect the miles i do i don't think it's gonna affect my comfort it's, it's still, you know, at 20 pounds to me, it feels super light. I don't even know that it's on my pack, on my bag, on my back. 
but uh you know when i get up over when i get up over you know 27 28 then then um i, I feel it but those are you know again them are usually over overnight trips or longer trips and the longer trips i i sit around 30 pounds for about a seven day food carry um and i i'm, I'm good with that i can i can carry that for for maybe not days on end but for a long time and you know and do fairly fairly decent mileage you know, 10 to 15 miles a day is normally what i what i do with when i'm over 30 pounds um but i, I guess that's just a live and learn type of thing and experimenting around i do i do have a, um To have a base weight set up I'm probably gonna do a video of it if, if I can do it this year I might not be able to do it this year because it has to be a summer trip but it you know it's it's gonna be like a uh, like may, maybe a, a sub three pound uh, well it'll be like like a four and a half pound maybe like full full on carry weight and I have a trip I want to do specifically for that, but um, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, yeah. So you know, it, it's definitely. Hopefully, I can do that to that this year because I really like want to do it. Just to, um, just to, I don't know, just to do it. Really, it's uh. It's a three-day trip, and um, and I should should be able to have like you know everything pretty light, man, pretty light. Like I said, like four and a half pounds with food. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely doable. It's all it's all about you know what what comfort you want to leave, and I'll show you tomorrow morning what um, my basic comforts I bring are, and it's like you know six pounds. Um, but like I said, you know, when, when everything else is super light, you know, like, like that extra six pounds, it's, it's, it's nothing. You know, I, it's funny. I don't, I won't carry a chair. There's just no way that I'm going to put that pound. I mean, I'm super comfortable. There's no way I'm going to put that pound on my, on my, on my back when I'm, I'm just fine the way. Well, you guys um, really enjoy your night. I know I am. And uh, again, I can't. It does. It does mean. It does mean a lot to me when when people uh, take their time out to watch to watch me because, like, I uh, I'm not really I'm not really good at it, and and um, I don't think. Uh, my type of content may be right for most people, so, but that's okay, because I'm doing it mostly for myself, like, it's just that creative outlet, and I'm going to keep on doing them, and I'll, I'll get a little better, I got some, some ideas, I want to get, <laughs> again, I want to get comfortable until I can, uh, and then I'll put those ideas into fruition, but, uh, all right, Good night, guys.
Whew. Slept good last night. Little wakey bakey kiddos. Yeah, I slept good last night. Oh, it tastes so good. But, um, I'm going to get camp set up. I'm going to smoke a couple bowls. I'm going to drink this. One cup of coffee. It looks like the rain's coming, but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show you the my new shelter and uh, and be on my way. Mm. Oh, that tastes so good. Breakfast of champions. Stick. <coughs> so I think figure I'd show you the campsite this morning since it was too dark last night. Um this is uh, pretty much nice fire ring uh, that was the, the throne for last night. Um, it's a little tiny stream. It's running. That's where I'll get my water from. Um, here's my mess. That's pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much everything I packed in outside the tent and stuff. So I'm gonna not tent. <laughs> tarp but uh i figured i'll give you a little tour um so this is the uh sling fin split wing uh tarp shelter it's held up with uh two trekking poles a total of eight guy outs um and i can only take the tarp the bug net it hangs on just three hooks that run across, uh, and then the vestibule I can take off, and then I'll show you around back. Oh. So that's how I have that hook there, and um, so this is the first night in the woods with it. Uh, now, what I did was is I pitched it in the front a little higher than it's recommended and then um, in the back I pitched it a little higher too and as you can see like the um, kind of creates some sidewalls so I think next time I'm gonna pitch it in like an inch higher on each one um, so all the reviews uh, about this um, 
tent a lot of people didn't like the fact that it didn't have a a bathtub floor uh and uh, as i'm reading through you know um slingfin said hey you know if you raise all your trekking pole feature raise the height of your trekking poles um you'll create a bathtub floor and uh so it's probably like a all the way around it's probably like a two two inch bathtub floor when i have it raised about an extra inch and a half up just up front um and uh so because i was a little concerned about that when i bought the tent but i knew it going into buying it buying the tarp and uh so i'm gonna try to learn how to uh just pitch it with uh ridge lines instead of the i don't use trekking poles so <laughs> that's kind of funny I, I bought a trekking pole shelter but um but i can also uh make ridge lines and um, i'm gonna try to learn how to pitch it uh without using the poles and just using some ridge lines and uh and then you have uh some more guy outs too so uh one on each side there but I, I like i like that it only weighs it's like a pound and six ounces with uh, like everything a pound and ten ounces it's under two pounds um but yeah that's uh this is gonna be my um warmer weather i'll use this for warmer weather once once the temps get below uh 50 degrees once the temps get below probably like 50 degrees um maybe maybe below 40 degrees i'll probably um go back to the hilleberg with, uh the three season hilleberg for the rest of the year um but yeah so uh i'm gonna get everything cleaned up and um get moving it's like 8 30 be nice to get to the truck by noon home by like three that'd be uh ideally all right so i wanted to show you um that's the sling fin uh putting its package and i mean i could get this even smaller no problem so it's uh yeah <laughs> hardly any room and it's super lightweight i'm i'm digging this <laughs> well i'm back at the truck uh, i want to thank everyone for um coming along uh i'm sorry i talked so much in this video i'm still trying to uh learn how to talk to the camera and be myself it's it's actually the most difficult part of this um so the more videos i do the more the more comfortable i become doing it and um If you like this type of content, uh, subscribe, like, tell a friend, you know, uh, how's that go? Um, smash the like button. And, um, yeah, again, thanks for coming along. I hope you guys all have a uh, blessed day, and uh, we'll see you at the next trip.